What is up everyone? I am the winner and welcome to our game room. Today we're going to take a look at the game that came in ranked 33rd in my top 123 games of all time. Today's game is a dice placement uh, engine building, tableau building kind of game. And that game is Fantastic Factories by Metafactory Games. Uh, this one I kind of got as a Kickstarter, hey, you know, let's kind of throw money at this one because it looks kind of interesting. And when I got it, I was like, wow, this place really smooth. Let me play it again. Then I played it again. Then I played it again. It's just super, super, like, simplistic, but heavier at the same time, if that makes sense. All, everything's streamlined. There, That's the better word, streamlined. Uh, basically, you take the dice that you roll your dice and you get to place them on. There's a factory board that you can get uh, cards from. And no matter what number you roll, you put a die there, you draw a card. But if you put two of the same number there, you go draw two cards plus one because you put those two of the same number. You put three cards, you draw three cards plus two because you put three of the same number. So for cards, that's the way that works. To get uh, energy, you, you can only put one, twos, or threes on the energy, but whatever number you put there, that's how many you get. So that's kind of a different way to go about it. And the steel that you can get, uh, you have to put four, fives, or sixes there, and no matter how many, what number you put there, you only get one. But of course, if you put two of the same, you get one extra. If you put three of the same, you get another extra. So they work the same way that way. Uh, so you use those different uh, uh, resources to, to gain cards that are different uh, factories that you can take advantage of. And what you're trying to do is produce goods. And if you produce, I think it's 10 or 12 goods, the game will end. And then whoever has the most points at the end between the goods and the, the what your factors are all worth uh, they win the game. It's really simple. And we actually got recently the, uh, there was a couple expansions, Sabotage, and I can't remember the rest of them are, but uh, there was a couple different, I think it was three mixed together to make one a bigger expansion. And uh, man, like everything in that expansion is super good too. And really, it just adds more. And in this game, more is better. So I really, really, you should definitely give this one a shot if you're looking for a on the like, lighter medium end of a engine builder, of a dice placement kind of game, then Fantastic Factories is, well, a fantastic game. Uh, definitely give this one a look. Uh, this one went down two spots, but I think this is kind of where I like it, somewhere in the 30th, 30, 40 range. Uh, this one you can pull out and play in a quick, even at five players, the top player count, still plays in roughly an hour. So... This is kind of on that same line as Sagrada for me, but I think the engine building on this one's a little bit more uh, satisfying than what Sagrada has to offer. So this one has actually been my dice placement pick. So uh, Fantastic Factories, my number 33. So come back tomorrow and see what my number 32 is of my top 123 games of all time. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep playing and keep winning.